Happy Monday, everyone. Uh, it's a quick chatting with Coach Tina uh, message for you. In the scripture, it tells us, and we shall know the truth, and the truth will make us free. And when you think about the word knowing, and like someone say, oh, do you know him or do you know her? In order to know someone, you have to spend time with them. You have to sit with them. You have to develop a relationship with them. So sometimes when people ask us that, we'll say, oh, no, I know of him or her, but I don't know him or her. And there is a difference. So when you think about it, when they say you shall know the truth and the truth will uh, make us make you free. We have to sit and do what uh, I do as a computer technician, one step one and as a coach. When working with clients you have to analyze so you're sitting there you're developing a relationship and you are in analyzing mode you're analyzing the situation the relationship this person and, and your personhood okay so uh once we know that truth we can then be set free but when we refuse to know that truth, when we stay in denial, and denial is part of the grief process, uh, so it is normal. But when we stay in, in denial in order to numb out or not deal with something, it is not a good thing because it impedes our freedom. Our freedom is based upon the truth that we know, not the truth that we're ignoring and suppressing uh, the emotions and whatever else is going on in our system so that we don't have to deal with that thing. And then once we know the truth and we are walking in that truth, we are receiving our freedom. We are more purpose driven. We are right on target to where we are supposed to be. But in that walking, what happens is that the devil will send people along people and things okay it can even be things to use them as tools to try to impede our walk it's just like having an obstacle course and then you tripping and bumping over things along the way and things are coming you know even playing the video game when you think about it i know we used to play what uh, pac-man back in the day and miss pac-man and you're going through with the stick and the next thing you know the ghosts are coming out so the devil would be sending them out to demolish you, to impede you, to uh, discourage you in your walk. But when we know that truth and we really know it deep down in our soul and we walk in that purpose, our light is going to shine even brighter. But we have to stay the course and not allow other people in their own brokenness to impede our walk and what it is that we know. So I hope that something I've said today has uh, resonated, has touched your heart. And um, if you wanna share, feel free down in the comments about knowing the truth and how knowing the truth has helped you to live and walk the truth and how you've had uh, hurdles in your life as a result of being determined to walk and live in your truth. Have a blessed Monday.